In this video, we are going to go through a CFA level one style question on applying the Gordon growth model to a scenario where you are not explicitly given G, the growth rate. As I have already pointed out in an earlier question on this topic, the Gordon growth model, in my opinion, is certain to appear on your exam. And one way in which the examiner may want to catch you out is by not explicitly providing the growth rate. Fortunately, there is an easy solution to this. It does, however, come at the expense of learning an additional formula. So if this is something you want to get right in the exam, keep watching and let's get solving. So this is the question that I want you to have a go at. A company which reports a consistent return on equity of 12% and whose shareholders expect a return of 9.8% per annum has just paid an ordinary dividend of 1.35 euro per share. If the company has a policy of paying a dividend equal to 45% of its net earnings, the intrinsic value of its stock is closest to 42.19, 32.34 or 44.97 euro. Okay, I'm guessing that you already know the Gordon growth model formula for the value of a share at time zero, but let's write it down anyway. V0 equals the dividend at time one divided by R minus G, where R is the rate of return required by investors and G is the constant dividend growth rate. And we may also rewrite this as D0 times one plus G divided by R minus G, which allows us to express next year's dividend as a function of D0, the dividend which has just been paid. The problem is that this question does not provide us with a growth rate. So we are missing a term which is critical for both the denominator and the numerator of this formula. And if this happens in the exam, please use the following expression for the growth rate. G equals B times ROE, where B is the earnings retention rate. And ROE is naturally the return on equity. The earnings retention rate represents the portion of earnings which the company retains or keeps as opposed to paying them out to shareholders in the form of a dividend. So we can rewrite this as equal to 1 minus the dividend payout ratio. And in this question, we are told that the company has a policy of paying a dividend equal to 45% of its net earnings. So the dividend payout ratio is 45%, making B the earnings retention rate equal to 1 minus 45% uh, or 55%. So G is going to be 0 0.55 times an ROE of, let's check what the question was telling us. Here it is at the very top, a consistent return on equity of 12%. So 0 0.55 times 12%, which gives, well, let's check this on the calculator, 0. 55 times 12 equals 6.6%. Let's quickly check the remaining values from the scenario. Shareholders expect a return of 9.8% per annum, so that's R, and the company has just paid an ordinary dividend of 1.35 euro per share, so that's D0. Let's plug these numbers into the formula uh, up here. 1.35 times 1 uh, plus 0 0.066 
for G uh, divided by zero um, point zero ninety eight minus zero point zero six six again for G. Performing this on the calculator, I get an answer of, let's check, 1.35 times 1.066 divided by, open a bracket, 0 0.098 minus 0 0.066, close bracket, 44.97. And this is very much in line with answer C.